Hey, what's up everybody? It's William back for another NASCAR Authentics diecast review. And uh, today it'll be a Wave 4, a 2017 Wave 4 NASCAR Authentics. Another one, I know I reviewed the Jimmy Johnson and the Kevin Harvick from Wave 4. Today is going to be Ryan Blaney's number 21 Motocraft Wood Brothers car. Uh, as I just said, for uh, Wood Brothers Racing, or just the Wood Brothers as they call them. A very cool car, as you all know, if you've been watching and keeping up with NASCAR lately. Ryan Blaney has been doing uh, pretty good for uh, only his, uh, I believe this is his second full-time season in the Cup Series. So, of course, got the win at Pocono earlier in the year in this paint scheme. Uh, so he's been doing pretty good for himself lately. And uh, so I thought I'd pick up the die cast. I've uh, been thinking about picking this one up for a little while now and uh, I actually almost got it when it was in I believe wave 6 of the NASCAR Authentics last year uh, the 2016 version of this paint scheme and I never got it but uh, when I heard that it was um, going to be in wave 4 of the 2017 NASCAR Authentics I thought, uh, thought I'd pull the trigger and I actually was thinking about not but uh, also because the recently announced news that Ryan Blaney will no longer be with Wood Brothers Racing next year. He'll be moving over to Penske to drive the 12 car. And, uh, Paul Menard will be in the number 21 Wood Brothers car. Uh, since this is Ryan Blaney's last year with the Wood Brothers, I thought, again, why not pull the trigger? But enough of that. Let's get this thing cracked open. And uh, I guess I'll just I'll do it live here this time. Don't always do this. We'll do this just live. So uh, we've got this uh, nice helmet magnet. I have to say I think I like this better than the uh, trinket that was included with the 2016 version of this paint scheme last year. Uh, last year, I believe, it was just like a hood that said Motocraft on it um, with like maybe number 21. So I'm definitely liking this helmet better already. And uh, here we've got the car. Uh, but really quick, we're going to slide this off to the side and we'll get the little trinket in here. Look at the helmet magnet. And I believe this is the first helmet magnet that NASCAR Authentics and Lionel has done. I don't believe they've done one for another driver this year. And there's, I don't believe, another helmet magnet in this in this wave, there might be some in uh, upcoming waves, but hasn't been one in um, any wave so far. This is the first helmet magnet. It looks pretty cool. It's got the 21 Wood Brothers Racing Team uh, logo right there, Ford Motorcraft, and then Motor, yeah, Motorcraft. I don't know so why I kept saying uh, Motocraft. Uh, Motorcraft, and then um, Ryan Blaney there, uh, right on top of the visor of the helmet. So uh, very cool, and you can even see part of the the Ford logo is cut off, like it's just half of the helmet. So that's cool. I really like the way this looks. Probably one of my favorite uh, trinkets that NASCAR Thenix has done so far. So I'm um, getting that out of the way. Here we've got Ryan Blaney's 2017 Motocraft Ford Fusion for, uh, like I said, Wood Brothers. And, uh, of course, just such an iconic and classic paint scheme if you're talking in terms of the history of NASCAR and the history of the sport. Uh, the longest-running team in NASCAR. Uh, just such a cool uh, look to this car. And, if, of course, the longest-running team in NASCAR, they've got to keep this scheme around. I don't even know uh, what everyone would do if they decided to change the paint scheme. I mean, I don't think... I think after you've been doing it this long and you've kept the paint scheme for this long, I don't, I don't really think that there's really an option to uh, change it. I think it's kind of you're just stuck with uh, keeping it. And I don't have any problem with that. To me, it looks great. So let's get started off here. I believe this is actually my first Ford Fusion... My first diecast review on a Ford Fusion NASCAR. So, um... Uh, I guess this is a first time for everything. I know in the Kevin Harvick, when I did the Kevin Harvick Hunt Brothers pizza car, that was my first uh, Ford review, or I can't remember if it was my first Ford review, but it was definitely my first Xfinity car, my first uh, Ford Mustang review. So this, is, I know, is definitely my first Ford Fusion diecast review. So enough with that. Here you've got the Ford Fusion front bumper there with the uh, 21 and Wood Brothers Racing logos there and there. You've got Ford Motorcraft on the hood, and as I've discussed... Uh, as I discussed in the previous reviews, there is, of course, nothing on the windshield because this year in 2017, they've got the Monster Energy logos on the windshield and because they can't market uh, m Monster Energy drinks towards children, and these cars are, are marketed towards children, they cannot put Monster Energy logos on the car, so they decide to not even do anything for the windshield at all. And I hope that they, at least in the future, start putting the... Uh, the little banner with the name on it on the rear windshield. Um, maybe they don't do the front one because, like I said, it's got the Monster Energy on it. Granted, I think they should just do 
a windshield banner with just the manufacturer logos like just pretend that you've got the actual uh, banner on there but just take the monster energy off of it and just keep the manufacturer logos but really I'd be satisfied if they just left the windshield how it looks right here and at least did the the name banner on the rear windshield because that would make it somewhat accurate more accurate than it is right here at least but um, we'll just have to see how that goes in the coming future anyway getting on with the uh, side of the diecast here you've got your stand uh, normal culprits for uh, front bumper contingencies Goodyear over the wheel well there and I'm really liking that, of course, you've got the colored rims because uh, Wood Brothers Racing does have a, uh, a an alliance with Penske. And so I'm assuming because they have the alliance with Penske Racing, uh, all the Penske cars usually have colored rims, colored wheels. So um, I'm figuring when, in the last year or two, when they became, when, they, when the alliance started, they started putting colored wheels on the uh, Wood Brothers cars. And Ryan Blaney's got red rims here as you can see uh, that's just that's just my guess as to why all of a sudden he's got colored rims because before the alliance the wheels were black so that that's just my guess at it but still looks looks good in my opinion with the red rims with this paint scheme really makes the the wheels stand out against the white you've got uh not very many contingency sponsors here unfortunately you don't have the uh updated nascar logos again they can't have monster energy on the cars but no updated monster logos but i'm um not updated monster logos, updated NASCAR logos, but I'm sure that'll probably be coming soon if I had to make a guess. You've got Quick Lane, Tire, and Auto Center there on the side. And you come around here to the quarter panel, you've got Ford Motorcraft. Uh, I believe that is Safety Clean. I want to say that's Safety Clean. If it's not, then let me know how big of an idiot I am down in the comments. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that's Safety Clean. Lincoln Welders, and I don't know what that other little logo is right there. That. I don't think it is, but it honestly kind of looks like the AARP logo. I doubt it is AARP, but that's what it looks like to me from what I can see through the camera. Got SKF there on the C pillar, Ford Go Further on the uh, B pillar, PP and G, and then Wood Brothers Racing there all on the B pillar. Got Ryan Blaney right there above the window net, or I should say Ryan Blaney's name above the window net with, it's kind of hard to see, but right here there is an American flag. And uh, I'm always one for an American flag, so that's, I gotta give Wood Brothers and Ryan Blaney props there, putting the American flag on there, that's pretty cool if you ask me. We've got 21 on the roof, Ford Motorcraft is the roof sponsor. And then coming around to the back here, you've got FordParts.com as, as the sponsor on the back bumper. Uh, the Ford Fusion taillights there, the 21 and two Ford logos, I don't know why they, why they do that, that kind of looks kind of redundant to me to put the small logo here and a big logo here but I don't know I guess that's just marketing uh, fordparts.com there on the deck lid and on the right side is of course the same as the left uh, the paint scheme is very simple very basic but also very classic as I mentioned in the uh, earlier in the review this is of course a classic NASCAR paint scheme it goes way back to the early days of the sport in Wood Brothers Racing you know all the way back to David Pearson Silver Fox driving the number 21 car uh, very iconic in the uh, sport of NASCAR. They've uh, they've up updated it and revamped it just a little bit over the years, kind of, and I can all point that out. But um, still, very classic, classy paint scheme. So uh, I don't usually usually do this, but we're gonna since I'm remembering to do it, we'll do it this way. So the paint scheme starts off with a red splitter, uh, almost like a ruby red, very bright red there. And there's the undercarriage of the car if you care to take a look at that. Uh, then, as you see, the red splitter continues there, an all-white front bumper. And then on the hood here, the hood is all red, all that ruby red. The whole left side of the car is just plain white, except for down here on the side skirt, you've got a small uh, small red, red line, a little strip of red right there along the bottom. And then that stops here on the rear quarter panel. The back bumper is all white. The right side is all white, again with that same little strip of red. And then if you come onto the roof, roof's all red, deck lid's all red. Uh, pretty much it's all the whole top of the car is red. And then you've got this black line outlining the red, and then the whole rest of the car is white. And then like I said, you've got the little strip of red here with the red rims. Uh, very, I mean, there's not really much to explain about it. It's very basic, but like I said, very classy. And, uh, and like I said, just a classic, a classic car. Uh, so, 
if you are a Ryan Blaney fan, Ryan Blaney fan, or really just a sport a fan of the sport in NASCAR, I really uh, recommend that you pick this car up if you haven't already. Especially with, like I said earlier, Ryan Blaney will not be in this car next year, so this is kind of like your last chance to get it, and uh, that's part of the reason why I got it. Uh, I believe I definitely think it should be a reason why you get it. But uh, if you've stayed and you've watched this much of the video, I'd like to thank you all for doing that. Please leave a like. Uh, I'd really appreciate that. Comment down below if you have anything to ask me or want to comment on the review of the diecast. And as always, I ask you to please subscribe. Really, uh, it makes me happy when I see that I've got uh, more subscribers uh, clicking the button to subscribe. So um, uh, that'll be it. So I'll say goodbye, and I'll see you in the next video.